Hey, I'm Jensen, and don't worry, I know exactly why you're here. Chances are you have been hit by the world wipe. I have personally coined the term world wiping because chances are that's what you put into Google to wind up at this video. Chances are you've already Googled your issue and you were directed to this here pinned Game Reset Your Save discussion right at the top of Steam's discussions. This was pinned by one of the developers, Grandma Max. Now you're welcome to read through this if you want, but unfortunately since I know exactly what is not only causing the issue, but I've also found out how to fix it every single time, I can with utmost certainty tell you that all of this is functionally useless. And if you want to know why this is all functionally useless, I'll cover that close to the end of this video after I tell you how to fix your save. Now before you go through and test out all of these fixes, let's first diagnose whether or not you actually have the world wipe. So, to do this, we are going to have to actually leave the game. And we're going to start poking around in the game files just really quickly, and don't worry, it's not actually going to be as difficult as it sounds. What we are going to do is we are going to hit the Windows key if you're on a Windows system, and we are going to hit percentage, L-O-C-A-L, local, A-P-P, app, D-A-T-A, a local app data with a percentage right at the end as well, and that should direct you to a hidden directory. And the reason we're doing a search for this is because if you go and look for the app data folder, chances are if you don't know what you're doing, you're not going to find it because it's a hidden file. Now that we're in the app data local file, we want to go ahead and press M to go straight down to mining right here. This is the Hydraneer save location right here. And we want to go into the saved right here. We want to go into save games next and your save should be right here. I'm gonna go ahead open up the game because I've done a blank install and I'm going to basically just generate a couple of saves so that you can see what the saves are supposed to look like rather than what they probably are looking like at your end. All right, let's go ahead and try for a cursed save. I'm gonna hit new game right here. I'm gonna name it Pooper, sure, because that's really, really mature of me. We are not going to hit Steam Cloud save because we don't want this to save to the Steam Cloud. We probably don't want any of these saves to save to the Steam Cloud. So when we start up the game, we've got a lantern, shovel, we've got a the standard brush pan over there, we've got a cart for free, and we've also got a tractor just over here. What you should be seeing is all of these things are missing, right? And that is going to be the worldwide bug. And now for the moment of truth, whether or not you'll keep on watching this video, let's go ahead and hit continue. On this game save right here, we'll go ahead, load the save in, and everything that I just pointed out, the tractor should be over there, the shovel and the lantern should be over here, the cart should be over here, everything's missing. And I know exactly what is causing this bug as well. So if we go back over to our save games right here, I have Pooper and I have Pooper Backup 1. These are the two saves that are generated when you generate a world. And if we go into them, you'll find that we have a player.save and a save data.save. Now, let me generate another save file and I'll show you what a good save is supposed to look like. I've just gone ahead and rolled another world right here called Uncursed, and there's also this backup. I'll show you how to use the backup soon as well. Essentially, what we are looking at is two saves right here. Pooper is the cursed one that we rolled, and Uncursed right here is the good one. So if we go into Pooper, we've got player.save and save data.save, and that would look good from most perspectives until you see that there should be a level.save also saving into that file. And if we also go into the Pooper backup, Sometimes you do generate a level dot save, sometimes you do not. If you have already saved your game and quit without generating that level dot save, then it will instance a brand new level dot save without any of the machinery in there. It'll be completely blank. You won't even have that shovel and tractor and cart all spawning in the same place that it should be spawning in. You'll just have absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, that game is irrecoverable. You cannot play that one anymore. Everything that you did is gone. In saying that, however, there is a preventative from ever having this bug in the future. When you roll a good world, you can actually just poke around in this app data local file that I already told you to navigate to, and you can basically see this file structure right here, right? Level.save, player.save, save.save. Now, these are all generated. I've changed nothing in that world. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a brand new folder, and I'm going to call this one dot template. Now that we've got this dot template file right here, I'm going to go ahead and go into the uncursed file. I'm going to copy these uh, perfectly fine uh, templates right here. I'm going to paste them into this file. Don't ever touch this under your save game files. In game, don't load it, don't do anything. So let's say that you have been playing this game for about three, four, five, six, twenty hours non-stop because that is basically how you play the game. And you want to save your progress, but in the background, you don't actually have that level dot save. You want to go into this template right here. You can copy this level.save. You can paste it into the save right here. 
And then, after you've done that, if you save, then your save with all of the progress that you've made in real time will save over that level dot save and you'll be able to recover everything that you had, which uncurses the save file that you had. Now, if you are really, really lucky, chances are a backup would have loaded a level dot save and maybe it would have saved over that one. So if that is the case, you can go into Hydronair, you can go continue, and there's a little button down here that says show backups. If you want to try and load these backups, Maybe that will recover the world, maybe it will not. Hard to say, honestly. Unfortunately, if you've already quit the game and you've tried to save your data into a cursed save file, then you've lost everything, unfortunately. But using this strategy right here, you will not lose another save whatsoever. Now, I have basically just finished the tutorial that you, the viewer, can use to fix your Hydronia cursed save files, but there are a few things that I am going to talk about after this. So tutorial over, we're going to start talking about how we can fix this and why it hasn't been fixed so far. Now, me personally, I've had two years of formal education in programming through a Bachelor's of IT, which I had to unfortunately drop out of due to health complications, but I did still have those first two of the three years of formal education in programming. And I also have about a decade and a half's worth of experience just poking around in game files just to see how games function at a code level. I could probably create a fix for this game in 15 minutes. Unfortunately, there is a reason that I have not done so, and that is because if you, a third party, if you, a part of the community of Hygienia, want to fix this cursed save world wiping issue yourself, you will have to craft a mod. Mods are flagged in this game as a third party resource and it disables STEM achievements. Sadly, I think that this is probably motivation enough for the community to just not ever fix this issue because the game itself doesn't necessarily give you a lot of direction in the first place and when you are going through a directionless game like this in a f almost exclusively sandbox environment and STEM achievements are completely disabled, it kind of removes any incentive to actually play the game. So there's gonna be a few people that would say, oh, I don't really care about achievements as long as you fix the saves. You can just fix the saves using the method I've just given you. But unfortunately, if somebody creates a mod that fixes it for us, it's just gonna disable STEM achievements. Now, I'm just also really quickly gonna go back to this here pinned uh, bug thing in the discussions of Steam. They say that is your save file wiped on press and continue. Your save file was not necessarily wiped whatsoever. And the reason I say that is because the save was not generated in the first place. And when you load back into the game, then the save file is generated, which deletes everything else in the world, putting you in a doom loop so you can't earn money on that save, regardless of whether or not you wanted to continue that save for some strange reason after you lose everything. So it's not a save file wiping, it's a world wiping. And the reason it's a world wiping is because there was no save in the first place to have saved over. Essentially what happens when you save a game is that there is a bucket of data. This is your save file. And in the real time, you are playing a game. So you've got this data right here that you want to slot into this bucket. And nine times out of 10, that is seamless. However, if you do not have this bucket in the first place, then the data you're gonna have right here is just gonna be dumped out into the void. It's not going anywhere. The game is literally just taking this data over here, ignoring that there is no bucket and then just dumping it all over the floor and thinking, yep, that's good enough. So it's not a save file wiping because that would assume that this bucket of data right here was there to begin with. Continuing onwards, Hydronair has an extremely rare bug where some users are completely unable to save their game. This issue happens for less than 0.1% of players. That is one in a thousand players. And I think that this statistic is massively deflated. It's probably the statistics that they have the data for. I think it's more likely that 20% of the entire player base for this game will probably encounter this bug get really disheartened by losing four, five, 20 hours worth of progress at once and then uninstall the game, never play it again, not being able to refund it. They'll just give up entirely, forget about the game, hide it from their library. That is probably more realistic. And I say 20% of the player base will probably experience this because I personally can roll one in five worlds cursed very consistently as well. So knowing that this here statistic of 0.1% of players, that is 0.1% of players that are probably reporting the bug straight to the developers. And since they don't necessarily have a support ticket system inside of the game either, there isn't really an easy way of reporting this bug other than directly emailing the developers, which most gamers will not be motivated to do, especially after they've just lost an entire save file. Because quite frankly, there is nothing that the developers can do. That save file is just, it's just gone. Continuing on with testing to see if 
you're affected. Starting your save, pick up an item and throw it down, save and quit to the menu. That's completely unnecessary. You can start the save and then immediately quit to the menu and then reload the save. And all of your items should be there on a good save and they'll all have despawned if you have rolled a cursed save. Or you could just roll the world and while you're playing the game, immediately go back to your app data local file and see if the level.save file has actually initialized. And they're recommending that we disable our antivirus, add Hydrogenia to accept your programs list. Got nothing to do with your antivirus, it doesn't have anything to do with it whatsoever. And sure you're not closing the game mid-save, again, has nothing to do with it because it would need something to save to, to save regardless. Save files do not get corrupted with this save because there is nothing to corrupt. And ensure the drive you're saving to is not full. That's just common sense, honestly. So down here, I did actually email max at foulballhangover.com. I, di I did point out, hey, I have this issue. I saw it three times in a row, three days in a row on stream, and it's probably not a great look. And they're actually quite forthcoming. They said, oh, thanks for reporting this. Thanks for giving us your PC specs. Here is three free keys, one of which I gave to a friend, one of which I gave to a longtime viewer, another one of which I haven't done anything with. But unfortunately, I continue to test out why these save bugs are happening and I found the reason they're happening and I also found a fix and I sent both of those over to these guys here at the development team and they didn't bother reply so I would not say necessarily that these guys are interested in fixing it so much as whether or not someone will fix it for them. They're gonna do it Bethesda and just release the game hoping that the community will fix all the bugs like Bethesda did with Skyrim. And why are they doing that? Because it's free! It's literally free to do so. Now, little note for the developers or if anybody does want to create a mod for this, it's probably gonna be downloaded a few times, but ultimately the disabling of the Steam achievements will be so much of a trade-off. Most people won't want to download it in the first place. So. On the developer's side, if they implement a system that creates a little 1-0 boolean check for whether or not the level.save has saved after the game either auto-saves or you save and quit to the menu, it'll check your save file and see is the level.save there, return a zero if it's not there and then have a wee pop-up that says, hey, you haven't generated the file, would you like to go into the game files and manually drag from this .template file that we have put in there in a hotfix, drag that, straight into the world file that you have and then you'll have the level dot save that you can save over. The worst thing that they could possibly do is just leave it as like, oh, there's no save file and we're quitting the game right now. Let's just dump all of that save data into the void and just hope that no one gets all pissed off. Because people will get pissed off, people will notice. With my experience, if I had access to the design suites that the code was put into this game, I could probably realistically program uh, that fix in about five minutes maybe 10 if I was having a really bad day. One step further, if I had about 20 minutes and access to the design suites, which will take me hours to install, so I won't even be doing that and I'm not motivated to do so because mods disable achievements regardless. On the development side, again, they could have this dot .template file that we've already kind of put back here in the saves right here, hide this from the saves, and then use that as a resource every time a game checks the save file, does not see a level dot save. Just copy and paste from the dot template into that level dot save. If there is not a level dot save generated, because as soon as you load back into the game for the second time, chances are there's gonna be a level dot save that is generated and that one is going to be completely blank. It's gonna be complete doom loop. I think it's really unfortunate that this bug is in the game in the first place. This game's been out since 2020. Uh, well, at least that's when I started playing it myself. I paid full price for it and then I started playing it. Loved it, kept on playing, wanted to stream it, got the world wiping bug three times in a row. People, were, A lot of people were put off by it. A lot of people came back to the streams and said, why the hell are you still playing this game if it breaks all the time? I'm not gonna buy this game. Why the hell would I buy this game? I'm not gonna spend money on a game that just breaks. So everybody that saw my streams just assumed that that's what the game was like. The game was in a, in a barely functioning state state and there was no reason to buy it which really sucks because this is probably the most fun strategy puzzle game that I've ever played. In summary I have basically uh, not only come up with a way that you the viewer can fix your game saves for the future unfortunately the game saves that you already tried to overwrite didn't exist in the first place so there's no way of recovering that game unless you go into your backups right here and you get real lucky you get real lucky and they did actually generate a level.save file but you'll have to act, you'll have to check for yourself I, I can't give you that save unfortunately as a youtuber the developers cannot un screw that save either there's nothing that anybody can do about it you're going to have to start again but you can safeguard yourself 
for the future. So that's it. You now know how to fix the entire game every time it breaks and chances are those will be the bugs you encounter. If you have any other bugs including machinery or things like that, there is a wiki, it's called Bridge Poor, and if you go on there, you will find fixes for just about anything else that you're experiencing. Otherwise, right up here, you're going to find a playlist for Hydrogenair that I have made, and I've gotten to the end game by the time I've recorded this video. Right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you really enjoy, and just down in the description of this video, you can go down to my Discord and you can hang out with me and my community at your leisure, and until I make the next episode, tutorial, or you catch the next stream, hint hint, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!